Hi, it's Karen from RT Systems. Just learned a few things about the IC705 radio that I thought you'd like to know and want to show you some things about the programmer that are going to make setup for your files a whole lot easier. So you have your program here and you notice your channel numbers. That's how they're going to show up in the banks. All zeros are not a problem. They're just going to go in this same order that you see them here. And I've got three different groups here. And what if I don't want these in, the, in this group? What if I want them in this D star copy group? I just take this first one and change it. Now it says D star copy. And I go control C and then I highlight down below it and go control V. And they're now in D star copy. If I click here, I get the whole list, all the 435 fives, that whole list. I can tell it to move up, move down. I can rearrange them any way I want and tell it OK. And now everything is numbered from the top to the bottom. And again, an extra zero doesn't matter. It'll just put it in order for you. But now let's put these back where they were. Change the first one, control C to copy, highlight, control V to paste. And we're there. Save it up and we're good to go on that. Now, this is the big thing I just found out. I am not claiming this is the ISS International Space Station frequency. But if you want to do satellites, if you want to do International Space Station, one of the big questions we get is how do I do two meters up and 440 down? Well, there's two meters up and there's 440 down in one memory channel. I can save that up. I can send it to the radio. I can put it in a different bank. And once you have a split here, we have columns that affect just the split. TX operation mode. I can have a different mode. I can put my split on upper sideband if I want. I can set my tones. I can have DCS on one side of it and CTCSS on the other side of it because it's a split. These are split. These, under settings, show split columns. When you get the program, you're not going to see those. You call for them. If you don't call for them, it's going to set the split side the same as what you're looking at. It's just going to duplicate that over to the split side. But if you open them up, you then have full control over what you do on the split side when you're using split communications on the radio. Thought you'd like to know. We'll keep you posted if we find anything else exciting. Take it easy. We'll catch you down the log. This is Karen. Have a good one. Well, hi. I know more than got finished that I remembered one more thing I wanted to show you. This file, notice the bank channel numbers, and you wonder what order they're going to show up when you're looking at them in the list in the radio. This one's number 9, then 2, then 1, and zeros down here because, see, they're all in D-Star Copy. So I'm going to go up to Edit and down to Sort. The program lets you sort on any column. It lets you undo a sort and you can make changes while the data is sorted. And when you undo the sort, it'll take those changes back with it. So this is a real handy instrument. And I'm going to sort by bank. And then I'm going to sort by bank channel number. You don't always have to pick both. I do this quite often when I bring in information from repeater book or from R finder where it comes in in frequency order and I'll bring in the city name in the comment and then I'll sort by comment which brings all the cities together. 
which makes a much more usable list. Make sure you pick all channels and not just selected channels. I have nothing selected back here. So this is, we're going to do all channels and tell it OK. Now, D star copy, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way down to 17. 1, 2, 3 for the banks. And if not, we click here. We can move this one down if we want and tell it OK. And everything resorts so it's down where it's where I told it to go. So number nine's up here. And again, I can edit and sort by bank name and then bank channel number, all channels, and OK. And everything's back in order. And see, here's my talk channel and my talk channel. They just happen to fall together. And we're using names so it's more easily recognizable for you watching what I'm doing here. I wanted you to know something that's been built into the programmer for a long time. And you may think of a way to get a really good use out of it. Let's go to DR Memories for just a minute. Edit. Go to channel. This works on the memory channels also. We're going to go to number 465 and tell it OK. And I am on channel 465. You know, I'm dealing with several thousand here. So moving around like that is a whole lot easier. Control home and I'm back at the top. Wanted you to know. Again, we're just trying to make it easier for you. Enjoy. It's Karen, K0RTX from RT Systems.